So this is my camera bag, but it's just full of the basics. Camera, lens, a little light. What I really want to show you is what's in my bag of tricks. I bring this bag to every photo shoot and it's got a few little things that make the picture a little bit extra special because I like to be prepared. So the first thing I have is a wig. I usually have a little wig always snuck in there. Today it's a green wig. It's long and straight and I love the colour. The next thing in here is a packet of gold leaf. I often like to put gold leaf on my model's hands or eyes or face. Scissors, heavy duty, I'm always out shooting in nature and I need scissors to chop through any vegetation sometimes if I need to tweak that photo frame a little bit more. Fishing wire, again for the same reason, if I need to pull a branch from one side to another I just string some fishing wire over and just drag it over. So that's in there. And it doesn't normally show on the camera either so it's a great sneaky way to manipulate a scene. Oh. Everybody has one of these in their bags, I'm sure. <laughs> so this is a unicorn horn prop that I actually bought off a friend, um, a designer friend in the Netherlands. And yeah, I love it. And we might be using this for an upcoming shoot. I always have a wire and some small pliers as well. And I use these to make headpieces out of uh, flowers and foliage. So if I am shooting in nature, if I see something like that I can turn into a quick headpiece, I'll grab it and use my wire and pliers to quickly make it happen. I always have some jewelry just in case a picture needs something a little bit extra. So these are actually from um, ASOS or ASOS.com and they're just really fun pieces of party jewelry essentially. Speaking of jewelry, I have these wonderful little finger, I think they're called finger guards. But yeah, I bought these off eBay and I use them in my photos as well, just to add, I don't know, if I want to add a little bit more of a storytelling element, these come in quite handy. They're also handy if you want to poke people. So. In my bag of tricks, I always have fairy lights or LED lights and essentially you just put some batteries in here, switch it on and they light up and you can just, if you're shooting during twilight as well, I love stringing this into a scene because you don't see the wire but you just see these little lights peeking out from a photo. Smoke pellets. Now this is something that I use regularly on all of my photo shoots. A smoke pellet looks like this. I'm going to take one out to show you. And essentially what you do is you just hold a match or a lighter to it, um, a flame to it, and it just sets off and starts releasing smoke for about a good 10 to 20 seconds. You don't want to hold it in your hands because you'll burn yourself. So you just want to place it somewhere where you know it's going to be fairly safe. And I also have a box full of all kinds of wonderful things like bobby pins and beads and pearls because I'm off on a huge like pearl obsession at the moment. So I've also got glitter. Again, glitter is something that I love to add in pictures whether the girl is like blowing it out of her hand or if I use it as makeup on her like eyes or cheeks as well but I like to give myself options in case there's ever a need for glitter in a picture. Last few bits. So this is eyelash glue and I like to use it not really for attaching eyelashes, more for attaching things like um, flowers or pearls on you know my model's faces because, or just things, more for attaching things on my model's faces. And then tissues, tissues and lipstick. So I usually add a bit of the ointment and then I put some of this lipstick on just to give the girl a little bit more colour. And then tissues always come in handy and should be in every camera bag, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more, check out my class on Creative Vibe.